What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Um, this is probably about the first time you've seen me. Um, unless that, then I don't really know. There could have been other times you saw me. But we're going to go over on how to use multiple displays on your computer. So the best way of doing it, I'm going to be using my TV. My TV is a 14 inch or um, maybe a four, um, it's maybe a 40 inch, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we'll be doing through um, VGA, and which is these. We'll be doing it through VGA, and we'll be doing it through HDMI, which where's and we have HDMI here. Now the bit now we're going to compare them between the two. So this is VGA. VGA only does video, but it's very very low quality. It's perfect for people who are basically only doing it for de um, desktop purposes or like office purposes. Basically, that's all this is really meant for. But using this, this is more higher grade and higher quality. This can go up to about 1080p, um, maybe even higher. Just mainly depends on the um, the monitor. I'm quite sure that these only go up to 1080p, but if they go up to 4K, then I guess they do, because they do have 4K monitors, and I'm not entirely sure what they use. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know what cords they use, but I think they do use HDMI still either that or the HDMI mini but it would be great if someone notifies me but um, what you basically do is you plug it into your computer and it should automatically detect it now depending on the screen you have to check the manual of the screen to figure out what resolutions it supports if it doesn't support it, support it then you, should, you can't do it but some some computers can go outbound it's um, can go up to 1080p regardless of what the graphics are so basically all I have to do is plug this into my computer or I'll show you right now so here's my here's my laptop my Intel Core i5 um, this is my HDMI port I could pull it out right here and then basically that's all and then this is my H obviously this is my HDMI port so I put it in Put it, I install it onto my computer by putting it in and then on the back of the screen, the back of the TV if you look, it should be plugged in onto any of those other ones. It doesn't really matter about which ones I put them into as long as it's in one. Um, each one is different. Um, there's HDMI 1, 2, and 3. Um, for mine, some, of them, some TVs only have one and some of them only have three some of them have more than others but um, it doesn't really matter which one you put it into as long as you know which number it is so now for VGA that's completely different it's going to be labeled on the computer when you use the uh, select button it will switch over to a different different uh, interface so basically we put this in on the back of the TV so now put it in the back of the TV you'll see a VGA port that goes that is a male this one right here is a female, so that means it, you know, I don't need to make a reference of, of what that means, so, um, and then basically after once you put it into the TV, you grab the other side, and then you plug it into the computer, so, as you can see, plug this into the computer, my computer has a VGA and HDMI, do not ask me why, whether or not, if I need it, I really don't, so now, as you can see, it pops up on my screen, um, you're seeing um, my webcam interface and this is my desktop and as you can see it actually does move around so we'll be switching to the actual interface of Windows we'll be switching to the desktop now be here in just a couple seconds okay so now we're at the desktop phase this is the final phase of what we want to do so um, just in case you want to see my pretty face um, <laughs> there you go so basically the simplest way of doing this is by um, going going the screen resolution when you go to screen resolution you can actually customize the resolution you want it to be now I do want to warn you um, screen number three which should be the uh, okay you can click identify so this is screen three right here this, this current screen is three this one should be the yes this one is the VGA one so obviously it doesn't it does not go on 1080p it's incapable of doing so um, but you can also make that the main display 
Um, the way of how you switch it to that is basically, um, it, it looks like everything here is extended display. I've actually disabled this display because I didn't want it on. Um, but I am going to disconnect um, the VGA one. And this is my main one. I put it to 1080p. And that's how, you, how you're viewing me in 1080p. But you have to edit the settings and make sure you set the resolution to the correct resolution. Not only that, you need to also set the correct uh, refresh rate. If you don't set the right refresh rate, it will not work right. But if you don't, if you don't want to use this, you can also use something else called um, Intel Graphics HD Control Panel and do it through there. So go to the display, and then select display. There's also two different monitors that you can choose from. This one is obviously the uh, VGA one, and then this one is obviously the uh, the uh, the uh, actual HDMI. So you click accept. Yes. <coughs> I'm sorry. I increased the refresh rate, and then that's what I did. But anyways, guys, that is literally all with the video. I hope this helped out a lot on fixing your issues. If you want more videos like this with my face cam actually showing. I don't technically show my face a lot. I don't do it a lot. I have actually have a really bad haircut. I haven't cut my hair yet and I'm supposed to be doing it pretty soon. But um, if you guys want me to do more videos like this, I'll probably do another video like this. Again, the, my name is Alex Duncan from Top PC Top Tech Guides. I'll see you guys later. Catch you on the next one.